So we've got some breaking news. And if you've been on Twitter in the last 24 hours, you probably know what this news is. But uh, Naomi Osaka is split with her coach of a few years and uh, is coachless. Going into the US Open series, she, well, her coach, her former coach, Wim Fizet, who is a pretty high profile coach and pretty, pretty good coach, is on the market now. And he joins a lot of coaches that are high profile that have been ditched over the last few weeks. So let's have a read of the statement from Wim Fizet regarding the split with Osaka. So here is the statement that he put out over on Instagram. It says, it has been a privilege to coach Naomi since 2019 and see her grow into the champion she has become. She's inspired a whole new generation to fall in love with the game and to speak up for what they believe in. And it's been incredible to play a part in that journey. Thank you, Naomi Osaka. So there you go. That is the news. Rim Wim Fizet is on the, uh, on the market. And is a very good coach. Coached Osaka to two Grand Slams over the last few years. Now, she's obviously hasn't played that much over the last 12 months or so. so that's why she's dropped down the rankings. But that's not that's not got nothing to do with him as a coach. And he joins another high-profile coach who actually also coached Osaka in uh, Sasha Bain. So there's two really high-profile coaches on the market right now. Who will they go to? I mean, Raducanu, we all know, is kind of not with a coach, but kind of has her own staff. I... She's a bit strange with uh, with her situation, but there are two really good coaches in Bayin, Sasha Bayin, who just split with Pliskova, and Wim Fizet, who just split with Osaka, and they are on the market. Are they going to go to anyone in particular, or do you think they're not going to go to anyone? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know in the chat. Who do you think should coach or be coached by someone like Wim Fizet? And also, who do you think Osaka should hire as a coach? Do you think she'll go back? to Sasha Bayin, who took her to the heights of the game. Maybe they could meet back up again because they're both uh, looking for something to do. 